Barack Obama is used to doing and saying whatever he wants and expecting people to follow whatever it is he tells them to. As president, he did as he pleased whether it was legal or not and could and should spend prison time for most of his crimes in office. Instead, he's spent the last six months of traveling around but that's has come to an abrupt end as he was just confronted with a humbling experience while trying to slip back into America. Once Barack became a civilian, he still didn't stray too far from the White House, not for love of Washington, D.C., but for his inability to relinquish control to President Donald Trump. The former president and his shadow government have stalked the new administration, watching and plotting against Trump's success as commander-in-chief. The obsession he has with our president hasn't gone unnoticed and has led Barack into dangerous criminal territory, including allegedly illegally wiretapping Trump and those associated with him. When Barack isn't hobnobbing with celebrities and touring the globe on luxurious vacations, he's focused on furthering the divide in this country by trying to bring down his replacement. Two terms weren't enough for this arrogant former leader who thinks that nobody can do as good of a job as he thinks he did as president. In actuality, he was one of the worst. His narcissism seems to still be a struggle for him as he thinks that Americans love and miss him so much that he still maintains power over the people of the United States. He recently learned just how wrong he is. While attempting to sneak back into American politics and his former role as president, he found out that he's not really welcome here by citizens anymore who genuinely want to forget him. The vast difference in leadership between him and Trump is obvious, as the country is now experiencing a huge rebound in the economy and job growth, putting thousands back to work. This was all because of Trump making America great again and undoing all of the destruction his predecessor created and left him with. Barack took a break from vacation long enough to return to D.C. for a fundraiser last week that was attended by senior party members. Attorney General Eric Holder and Representative Nancy Pelosi were among the shady characters in attendance last week. A plethora of other Democrats were also there all with the common goal in mind to rig the upcoming redistricting efforts in their favor, yes I'm right reported. Unless you're a Democrat, it's not that common for former presidents to parade around raising money for these side causes, but Barack has different motivation. However, it was proven to be ineffective as not a lot of people are buying or caring what he's selling, despite the fact that he's supposed to have the biggest pull in his party, having been a U.S. president. Proof that people are turning away from him and his opinion, is that he told everyone to vote for Hillary Clinton and campaigned hard for her, but she still lost by a landslide. His influence over everyone, even liberal politicians, is slipping as legislators are even blocking him from getting back involved in politics, by going a different direction than what he's suggesting. So, now he and other shady Dems are getting desperate. The 435 congressional districts that elect lawmakers to the U.S. House of Representatives are redrawn every 10 years following the national census, the Daily Mail reported. Local legislatures, and not the federal government or the U.S. Congress, redraw these boundaries. Republicans currently control the legislatures in 32 of the nation's 50 states. Democrats are going to new lows to take back control and Barack is doing his best to help, both personally and through his shadow government. His point at the fundraiser last week was to devise a way for his part to redraw congressional districts to give them a better chance at winning elections in the future, since they can't campaign on merit and politics that people want. Restoring fairness to our democracy by advocating for fairer, more inclusive district maps around the country is a priority for President Obama, Barack Obama's spokesman, Kevin Lewis said about the need to redraw boundaries as if that's somehow fairer. Barack speaks with a silver tongue and tries to disguise what's seedy and best for him as what's good for the country. He had eight years to prove that he had America's best interest in mind and did just the opposite. People are wise to that disguise now that they have a real patriotic leader to compare it to and can see the vast difference between the two and the U.S. today.